doing another tutorial and we are creating this very dramatic, cool toned, smoky eye using two palettes today. I am using the Volcano Goddess palette from Becca and also the Pretty Cool palette from Dose of Colors. Both of these are relatively new and I both got them over the holidays. I got them both over the holiday season. Now, I did mention these in my wet palettes I wore this week video, um, which was out probably last week, and I didn't have a picture of the look that I wore, but, but the look was pretty much this look without the two shimmer shades on the lid without the lashes it was just a little bit more toned down and less dramatic so it's definitely can be a work appropriate look if you leave out those steps so when i get to those shimmer shades just knock them out and just stick with that matte smoky eye but if you want to take it up a notch you can definitely just follow through the, with the whole tutorial but if you're interested to see how i got this look then stick around all right everybody so i just started off by priming my eye with my wet wild photo Fo focus eyeshadow primer just from lash line to base and I'm doing the new thing where I'm not setting the primer so it seems to be working out pretty good it's kind of counterintuitive for me but we're gonna go with it so we're gonna start off with the volcano goddess vol volcano volcano goddess palette from Becca and I'm gonna go into the shade volcano volcanic sand with my wet and wild fluffy brush and I'm gonna do the right eye and then I'm just gonna start laying this down as my transition this is pretty much my skin tone but I just want to kind of help it to blend out these deeper, darker shades that we're doing. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Granite and just place that right over volcanic, volcanic sand and just kind of have it down a little bit lower, not blend it up as high. This shade is also really light, but it's a really beautiful transition shade once you build it up. I really like the mattes in this palette. I wish there were more of them. And I'm just going to kind of keep that closer to the crease and really build that up and blend it up into volcanic sand. Taking my Morphe E25, which is just a pinched ferrule blending brush, I'm going to go back into granite, pick a little bit more of that up, and really start deepening up the outer V. This isn't going to deepen it up much, but I find that kind of taking this step to deepen, start deepening up these shades really helps with your blend. Now going into the second palette, we're going to go into the Dose of Colors Pretty Cool palette. And I'm going to start with this shade right here, which is Fine Print. And again, I'm just using that E25 from Morphe. And I'm going to start patting this in the outer corner and just slowly building up the crease. I'm going to keep this really tight to the crease. Be a little bit more generous. Once I've deposited that product, I'm really going to fluff it out and blend it out all, all along the the crease even in the inner lash not inner lash inner corner once we have that blended out we're going to go into smoke show which is the deepest shade in the palette again i'm just using the same brush i'm getting a majority of it on the flat part of the brush this is going to apply all over the lid from inner corner to outer v again since you're using a fluffier brush it's going to be a little bit softer of a placement and then once we have that placed and most of the color is deposited on the lid, I'm going to start buffing that out. Going back in with my Wet n Wild Fluffy Brush, I'm just going to take that with no more product on it and just kind of buff everything out. Going back into the Volcano Goddess palette, I'm going to take my BRC S02 brush, which is just a flat shader brush, and I'm going to pick up Cloud. This shade is a... I like this shade, it's beautiful on the eye, but there's a lot of fallout for a cream. So really tap off that brush and we're just gonna start placing this right underneath the eye and start, starting to lighten up those colors. I did have a little bit of fallout on that white, so I'm just going back over with that E25 brush with no more product on it. Just very lightly sweeping everything up. I'm just going to go in with a flat shader brush. This one is from MASH. It's just a little no-name brush. And we're going to pick up the shade Crater, which is a beautiful gunmetal taupey shade. It's really pretty. There's a little bit of warmth in it, but it's very, very, very small amount. But it just makes for a really interesting color. So I'm just going to wet my brush down with my MAC Fix, Fix Plus. And I'm going to start painting this on the outer two-thirds of my eye. Once I've placed that color down where I want it, I'm going to flip the dry side of the brush and flip it over to the dry side and pick up some more of that color 
And then I'm just going to pack that color over where I applied the shadow wet just to get the most impact. I'm gonna clean off that brush and use it for this next shade, which is um, Agate Ash, which is this shade right here, which is a really beautiful taupey silver type of color. Again, I'm just gonna spray down that brush with the Fix Plus, and I'm gonna paint this on the inner corner and blend it into Crater. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the Crater shade and flip the brush over to the dry side and then I'm just going to pat that silver, that shade over where I applied it wet, just to really get the full impact of the color. You know, I think these shimmer shades and not the glitter shades are really the beauty of this palette. Like these are, they're pretty, but they're super hard to work with. These shades right here are, and the mattes are like the star of the show for me. Really enjoy the formula. I'm gonna take that E25 brush again. I'm sorry, this is not Morphe, this is Sigma. I, I have several brushes that look like this. And I'm just gonna go back in with no more product and kind of knock some of that glitter down. And then with that same brush, I'm gonna go back into Smoke Show. I'm gonna remember that shade name at some point. Smoke Show and just really deepen up the outer corner. Now working on the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into that smoke show shade, but I'm smoke show shade, and but I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics pencil brush from a million years ago, tap it off, but I'm gonna start running this along the right eye, right along the lash line. Now with that same brush, I'm gonna go right back into this shade, which is fine print, and just start blending it out. Connect the upper and lower. The colors on the upper and lower just to kind of create a full-on shape. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and clean up this fallout and I'll be right back. Now for the under eye, I'm going to go in with my one of my favorite under eye brushes. I, I have this brush specifically for this purpose and it's my BRC S06 brush. So we're going to go in with the BRC S06 and we're going to go back in with that granite shade. And take your time blending it out and you might have to go in a couple of times. It's just kind of how dramatic you want it is totally up to you. But do you see how nice and flexible that is against the my lower eye area? And it is a little dark, so what I want to do is I want to go in with that same brush, and I'm going to go back in with that Volcanic Sand shade. Shades like Volcanic, volcanic Sand and Cloud, the lightest one, are really great eraser shades um, where they help to lighten it up, you know, if you're fair skinned. If you have deeper skin, you definitely don't want something more skin toned. So this is just, you know, for me, they're good eraser shades for really softening things up. If things go down too low, if you want to lighten it up, I'm going to go in with a little bit of cloud. But these shades are perfect for just going underneath that blend and really diffusing it out. I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush and a little bit of cloud and volcanic sand mixed together. And I'm just gonna run this right along that outer corner just to kind of soften up any harsh lines and kind of clean it up, lighten it up a little bit so it's not too, too dark. For eyeliner today, I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay Crave, which is a really pretty, just deep grayish brown, cool toed grayish brown. And I'm just gonna put that on my waterline and tight line with it. Once that's done, I'm gonna start on the upper lash line and on the outer third I'm going to kind of bring it from my lash line and just kind of drag it on to my upper lash line. So from in the lash line to right above the lash line down to the outer corner. And again I think this just adds some darkness and helps create a little bit more definition. And if it gets a little wonky or you went a little overboard, just take that E25 brush or your blending brush and just kind of wiggle it back and forth. For my inner corner, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So I'm taking my Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Transcendence and my cleaned off pencil brush from BH Cosmetics. And I am just going to generously place this in the inner corner. For lashes today, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara on the upper and lower lashes, and I'm going to be using my new 
Well, these aren't new, I've had these for a while, but these are the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Meat Collection, and this is in Midnight, and they're really pretty, a little dramatic, but you know, hey, I'm feeling it. So I'm gonna pop those on, and I'll be right back. So those are the eyes done, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish off the face. I've already done my foundation, contour, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna use this Moment Blush from Kiss uh, Professional New York. This one is in Warm Winter, and it is a beautiful cool tone blush very pigmented so I'm going to take it on a BRC S25 br uh, brush and just go easy and I'm going to tone that down just a little bit I'm just taking whatever residual products left on my sponge just to kind of tone it down and I just want to go back in with my transcendence highlighter and I'm just going to take this on an elf small tapered brush and just highlight I'm just going to kind of use a padding motion since this is more of a kind of creamed powder type formula. And because I just want this to be a really soft diffused look, I'm going to go in with radiant light on my powder brush and a little bit of incandescent light and just kind of do a light dusting. I'm just going to go ahead and spray everything down with my Fix Plus. And to finish it off, I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay Back Talk Comfort Matte Lipstick. Okay, I want that a little bit more toned down, so I'm going to go in with my Buxom Full On clip, uh, Lip Cream, right? I have these lip creams. And White Russian. You, you know it. And I'm going to drop it on the floor and get cat hair in it. Alright everybody, and that's the finished look. Alright guys, so that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really am enjoying it. I think it's really pretty. I've been really feeling kind of cool tones a lot lately. Cool tones and greens. It's just been my thing lately. But again, using the Pretty Cool palette. This is such, I think Dose of Colors just makes such great eyeshadows. And I think this is such a nice array of just staple cool tone taupey shades to have in your collection. It's a nice balanced palette because it does get really cool and dark. But then you have some more neutral, just ever so slightly warmer cool tone shades. They're like cool tone shades but leading a little bit warmer and I think this is such a beautiful palette and I just love using it in combination with this Volcano Goddess palette and I know this palette really kind of got overlooked but I think when you get past like these shades right here in this glittery shade they're just some stunning shades in this palette so I, I've really been enjoying this palette and the quality of the mattes and the shimmers so yeah, that's just my uh, my take on these two palettes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you've tried either one of these palettes or if you're not interested at all. You know, I'd always love to hear your thoughts. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and playing with makeup with me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a rocking week, and I'll see you next time.